SS8CG5. Explain how the Georgia court system treats juvenile offenders. Element A. Explain the difference between delinquent and unruly behavior and the consequences of each. Our learning target? I will explain how delinquent and unruly behaviors are different and the consequences of each. Fulton County was the first county in Georgia to establish a juvenile court system. Today, every county in Georgia has a juvenile court. The purpose of the juvenile courts is to protect, not punish, juveniles. Delinquent acts are acts that would be a criminal offense if committed by an adult. So essentially, if a kid and an adult both commit it, you both would get in trouble. Some examples of delinquent acts include theft, assault, possession of drugs, rape, and murder. The consequence for a delinquent acts vary depending on the severity of the crime. So the worse the crime, the worse the consequence. If the crime is serious enough, the juvenile can be charged as an adult. If the child is declared delinquent, consequences include probation, a 30-day short-term sentence, or if needed, committing the child to the Department of Juvenile Justice. Unruly is a bit different. Unruly is an act that can only be committed by a juvenile. Some examples include possession of alcohol or cigarettes, running away, breaking curfew, skipping or not attending school, known as truancy, or not abiding by the reasonable commands of a parent or other adults. The consequences of unruly include releasing the child to the custody of the parent or legal guardian without court supervision, placing the child on probation with certain restrictions, committing the child to the Department of Juvenile Justice, detaining the juvenile at the Youth Development Center, YDC, for up to 30 days, sending the juvenile to an outdoor program or boot camp. 